Hey guys, welcome to Sky Marble Travel. This video is the Monarch Butterfly Adventure that we and another couple experienced when we traveled to Valle de Bravo to see the overwintering monarch butterflies. Where is Valle de Bravo? As you can see on the map, it's located west of Mexico City. Valle de Bravo is a beautiful lakeside community that we'll take a quick look at before we climb the mountain at the Monarch Butterfly Sanctuary, Piedra Orade, which translates to English as Iron Stone. We hope you enjoy watching and we'd enjoy any comments you might have. Let us know. Have you been to see the butterflies? Is it on your bucket list? Drop us a comment. If you enjoy watching, please give us a thumbs up and please, Consider subscribing to help us grow. Okay, let's start the adventure. As I've already mentioned, Valle de Bravo is a gorgeous lakeside community. The city dates back to the 1400s during the Aztecs. It's also been the battle site of many campaigns fought during the Mexican independence movement and has had many names in the past. The city's current name, Valle de Bravo, or Valley of Bravo in English, comes from Nicholas Bravo, a man who fought during the Mexican-American War at the castle of Chapultepec. The current population is around 62,000. This is a playground destination for the well-to-do city folk of Mexico City and closer by Toluca, which stands between Mexico City and Valle de Bravo. It's estimated that between three and a half and four million tourists visit the city each year. Besides being a lake destination, the town is a great staging center when launching tours to see the monarch butterflies. Of course, the lake offers all the usual activities of swimming, pleasure boating, fishing, and as you'd expect, it's a great lake for water skiers. As we were walking to grab a bite to eat, we noticed not one, but seven paragliders soaring above the city. It was really cool. When you visit Valle de Bravo and the Monarchs, don't forget to stop and enjoy the two great waterfalls. Take a lunch and have a picnic at Velo de Novia waterfall. That means bridal veil in English. Okay, it's time to climb the mountain and check out the monarch butterflies, a beautiful bug that has an amazing story. We arrived at Piedra Herada around noon, go too early, and the butterflies are still nesting due to the cool weather. As the sun heats up the mountain, the butterflies become very active. This is a super affordable tour with current adult tickets priced at only 100 pesos or a little more than five bucks. Once you enter, you find the commercial side of the sanctuary. Here, you'll be able to shop for the perfect souvenir, from hats to coffee mugs, magnets, pins, teas, and even more. There's also food available, but we brought our own sandwiches the girls made the night before. If you don't think you can make the climb by hiking, horses are available for 300 pesos, or about 15 bucks. Tours leave out in groups of 10, but if you pay around 250 pesos or $12.50, you can have your own guide for smaller groups. That's the option we chose, and we got a great guide. Okay, let's start moving up the mountain. We came to see the butterflies. Before making the trip to Valle de Bravo for this butterfly adventure, I read up on this amazing little creature on the U.S. Department of Agriculture's U.S. Forest Service website. 
As we move through the video, I'll be reading right from the website. I'll leave a link to the site in the comments so you can find it yourself and learn more. I found all the information about this fascinating insect quite interesting, and I hope you enjoy learning about them as much as I did. Be sure to wait to the end when I tell you how you can distinguish between the male monarch butterfly and the female. Ready to learn? Here we go. And you can see, we just reached 10,002 feet. Ooh, doggies. And off we go. Okay, fact number one. Did you know the monarch butterfly has a look-alike? It's the viceroy butterfly. That's right, the monarch and the viceroy look similar but they are different. And if you know how to tell the difference, it's quite simple. So how can you tell them apart? Well, it's not hard. You see, the Viceroy butterfly has a line across its hind wings that runs more or less horizontal as it spans the wings. Here's a picture. Do you see the difference? Okay, here's fact number two. What does a monarch butterfly eat? Well, as a caterpillar, this little bug only eats milkweed. As the caterpillar eats milkweed, it ingests cardiac glycosides, a toxin that makes monarch butterflies poisonous to eat, and why many predators avoid this insect. As an adult, the monarch butterfly enjoys the nectar of a variety of flowers. never heard the rumor of fact number three. But the U.S. Forest Service poses it as something that could be a myth. Here's the question. Is it true that butterflies taste flowers with their feet? So what's the answer? It's true. The site says that monarchs have sensory organs on their feet and heads that help them identify different plants but it's uncertain whether insects taste as we are able to do. Are you ready for the fourth fun fact? Here it comes. How many eggs do female monarchs lay? Well, female monarchs can lay over a thousand eggs in their lifetime. However, in the wild, they probably lay, on average, about 400 to 500 eggs. Coming in at number five, how do you tell the difference between a male monarch butterfly and a female? The first sign that a monarch butterfly is male is that males have a little black dot on their hind wings. These are actually glands that release pheromones for attracting females. On the other hand, the veins that run through the wings are thicker in females. So what do you think? This looks like a female Right? No dot and thick veins on the wings. Okay, we're checking in again. We've gone up another 461 feet from 10,002. We're now 10,463 feet. And it, this might be as high as we go, but the mountain certainly goes up a little bit higher. So quite a climb, it's pretty good and the views are spectacular. 
the butterflies are everywhere. Okay, for fact number six, let's talk about the monarch butterfly's well-known migration pattern. The first thing to consider is lifespan. This is a key component that makes migration an incredible feat. Consider this, monarch butterflies typically only live from two to six weeks. That means in order to complete a full migration, several generations come and go. But it's the first three generations that live this short lifespan. The last generation, the overwintering generation, can live for as long as eight to nine months, spending five of those months in Mexico for the winter. And what about the monarch's diet while in Mexico? This is amazing. Monarchs store enough fat, so most of them do not need to eat when they are overwintering. But they still need to drink making dew and other water sources extremely important for them. How do they make this incredible migration? Turns out researchers are still investigating what directional aids monarchs use to find their overwintering location. It appears to be a combination of directional aids, such as the magnetic pull of the earth and the position of the sun, among others, not just one in particular. All right, let's get to fact number seven. Here it is. How long do monarchs stay in their cocoon? Well, it's not a cocoon. The pupa of a butterfly is actually called a chrysalis rather than a cocoon. The difference in the structures is that many moths spin a layer of silk for protection, and this structure is called a cocoon. Monarchs remain in their chrysalis for about eight to 12 days depending on the temperature. After leaving the chrysalis, the wings unfold, but they're not firm for flight. To acquire the ability to fly, the new monarch hangs upside down. The wings have veins that fluid is pumped through, inflating the wings to their proper shape and size. Then the butterfly waits until the wings are dry to fly. If the butterfly cannot hang upside down while its wings are inflating and hardening, the wings will not form properly and the butterfly will not be able to fly. There you go. Seven fun facts about the incredible monarch butterfly. This was our butterfly adventure. If you've been, you have yours. If you haven't been, plan a trip. You'll love it. Thanks for watching. We hope to see your comments. Please type one and let us know what you think. Also, please give us that thumbs up and consider subscribing. We'll see you in the next video soon. Happy travels.